the Holy Bible in Romans chapter 1, verse 20, it says, For the invisible things of him are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. For the invisible things of God are clearly seen, being understood by the things that he made. Okay, what does that mean? It says in the Holy Bible that God is a consuming fire. Okay, do you see anything that he made that is a consuming fire? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Do you see anything that he made that is the light of this world? Okay. It says in the Holy Bible that God is light and in him is no darkness. That's an invisible thing of God. Do you see anything he made that is the light, that is all light and has no darkness? Okay. It says in Revelation, um, that Jesus said that I am the bright and morning star. Keep in mind the sun is a star. Do you see anything that he made that is the bright and morning star? And of course the answer is right on the board, okay? It is the sun, okay? The sun represents God. It is a consuming fire, okay? It is the light of this world. It is all light and no darkness, okay? Well, if the sun represents God, is there anything that he made that represents you? Of course, the earth. The earth represents you, okay? There are invisible things of you, too, okay? You have a soul, a mind, a heart, a spirit. Those are all invisible, okay? If they were to open up your body, they'd never find any of them, okay? And they wouldn't, okay? Your mind is invincible, your spirit is invincible, your soul is invincible, and of course your heart is invisible. Not the heart that is an organ that pumps blood. I'm talking about your heart. All those things are spiritual and they are invisible, okay? So the invisible things of you are in the earth too because the earth represents you. The wind represents your spirit. The deep oceans, uh, saltwater oceans represent your soul. Okay, the vast universe represents your mind. And the dust of the ground that you were formed out of, the dirt, the humus, okay, the, is your heart, okay? Love grows out of your heart, okay? The, everything grows out of the dirt, like the, the uh, fruit trees and the trees and the vegetables, the plants all grow out of the, uh, and the beautiful flowers grow out of the dust, but they need two things to grow, right? Light and water, okay? The word of God is seed, okay, and it is. Jesus talked to, in a parable about the word of God being seed that was sown into your heart, and then Satan comes to take it away, okay? Well, the seeds in your heart still need to grow too, and it, the way they grow is uh, from the light and from water. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. And he also said, I'm the water of life. So you need Christ. You need the word of God and Jesus Christ for your, for the things in your heart to grow. Love grows in your heart. It does. It needs water and light. Okay. And as you can see, it's self-evident. The moon does represent Satan. The moon is all dark, 100% dark. When you're going to say, well, I can see the moon at night, it's, it's bright. It's an artificial light. It does not have its own source of light. It's taking it from, from uh, the sun and trying to imitate the sun. Okay. It says in the Bible that Satan tries to disguise himself as an angel of light. The moon is trying to disguise its darkness by a light over here. Do you understand? Do you understand the depiction? Here it is, right here. Okay. The sun represents God, the earth represents you, and the moon represents Satan. It's right there. Two years ago, I was born again through an experience that took over a week. Part of the highlights were I saw Satan. He was a short distance away from me, like five or six feet. I saw him from a side profile. I did not see his eyes. Okay. And I did not know it was him for over a week. A week later, it was brought to my attention that it was him. And then I went through, a, a, my, I got led by the Spirit away from my home, away from my family and my children, 
I ended up naked two states away about a week later, and the police uh, uh, held me at gunpoint and took me to a hospital, and then I went to a mental health center, and about four days later, my wife picked me up, and I went back home. And I was born again, okay? In part of that process, I saw God throw me up in heaven like a newborn baby. I became a new creature in Christ, a new babe in Christ. That was two years ago. Okay. It's a very long story. There's a lot to it. I just give you a few of the highlights. Um, it's, it's maybe sometime I'll do the video. It'll take probably an hour. I don't know. There's a lot to it. Anyway, I was born again, and now I can see the kingdom of heaven because I am in Christ. Okay, the sun does represent God, the earth does represent you, the moon does represent Satan. The sun never moves. We rotate around the sun. God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Unmovable. The world keeps spinning. The earth keeps spinning. God tries to keep, uh, he's, he's trying to get you to go out of darkness and into his light. Now is the time of salvation. Repent means to turn around, see? Turn around. He's trying to turn you out of Satan's darkness into his light. Now is the time for repentance. Okay, what does that mean? Turn your heart to God. Okay, turn your heart to God. Ask Jesus into your heart. That is repenting. Ask him into your heart. You are a sinner. I guarantee you you're a sinner. You don't even know all your sins, okay? But you are. No sinners can get into heaven. They can't. Okay, the only way you can get into heaven is through Jesus Christ. You have to be cleansed. Your soul has to be cleansed of all your sins. The blood of Jesus is the only thing that can cleanse your soul of all your sins. There's no salvation in no other in the world. There's no salvation in Muhammad. There's no salvation in Buddha. There's no salvation in the Dalai Lama. There's only salvation and eternal life in Jesus Christ. That's it. No man cometh to the Father but by Jesus Christ. He says, I am the door to God's house. In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. He is the door, and that door is, there's only one door. It is the front door to that house, and that door is Jesus Christ. He says, I am the door, okay? There is no other way to get in that house. There's no back door, side doors, windows. There's only one front door, and that's through Jesus Christ. He is that door to God. He is. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Nobody gets into heaven but by me. Ask Jesus into your heart, and he will get you there. You will become saved, saved from the things that are coming on this earth, and they're coming. Okay, they are. One of the other things on my lesson here, obviously, are these veils. There are wedding veils. You gotta remember, God is very intelligent. He's very, very intelligent, okay? There's many layers to what he made. The physical things that he made in this earth could have spiritual significance to him, like the shadow you see outside. It's just not your shadow, okay? It's not. It's you in darkness. To turn around uh, is to come out of that darkness. Do you understand that? Anyway, the ozone layers represent wedding veils. Okay, apocalypse means lifting of veils. Jesus is the bridegroom. Here's the bride, but he doesn't know who the bride is. It possibly could be you, or you could be forever turn your back on Jesus and stay in darkness for all eternity. To repent is to turn around, okay? When, when those veils come up, will you be there? Will you be there? He is coming for his bride. This is his bride, okay? Here's the wedding veils. They're coming up right now. Now, physically, what's going on is the, the ozone layers are getting thinner. It's causing the polar caps to melt. It's causing severe earthquakes in diverse places. It's causing pestilences, famines, droughts. It is because the world is becoming brighter and hotter. Do you understand? It is. Spiritually, the physical things that are happening are in complete sync with the spiritual things that are happening. Okay, in other words, the world, the, the ozone layer is getting thinner are causing a global warming is what they're calling it, which is just a silly name for what's really happening. But spiritually, Jesus is coming for his bride. Do you see it? It's all right here. Do you understand? Ask Jesus into your heart.
before it's too late because we are running out of time. He is coming for his bride. In a couple weeks, I'm going to do a, a video about a snake. There's an upside down snake or serpent snake over in the Middle East and its head is over near Israel and its tail runs out past China into the ocean. Do you hear what I'm saying? I know this sounds weird, but I'm telling you in a couple weeks, I'm going to show you through lessons that there is an upside down snake in the Middle East. And at the throat of that snake is Israel. Okay, the eye is Mecca. There's an upside down snake and it runs through Asia, Russia, clear to China and its tail runs into the ocean. It's, it's going to be a huge video. It's going to take me a while here to get prepared to do that video. I mean, in the end, you're going to see something that will blow your mind. And it's all real. Okay. Nevertheless, ask Jesus into your heart before it's too late. Now is the time of the Gentiles. We're running out of time. 